the Iranian army has made new details about one of its underground bases, this one housing military drones. The account, which comes amid simmering tensions in the Gulf, did not disclose the base's location. State TV said 100 drones were being kept in the heart of the Zagros Mountains, in southeast Iran, including Ababil 5. which it said were fitted with COM-9 missiles, the Iranian-made version of the American air-to-surface Hellfire missile. Drones of Islamic Republic of Iran's armed forces are the region's most powerful, Army Commander Maj. Gen. Abdalrahim Musavi said. Our capability to upgrade drones is unstoppable, he added. The Iranian state TV correspondent said he had made the 45-minute helicopter flight on Thursday from Kermanshah in western Iran to a secret underground drone site. He was allowed to take blindfolds off only upon arrival at the base, he said. TV footage showed rows of drones fitted with missiles in a tunnel, which it said was several hundred meters underground. The TV report came a day after Iranian Revolutionary Guard seized two Greek tankers in the Gulf, in apparent retaliation for the confiscation of Iranian oil by the United States from a tanker held off the Greek coast. Greek authorities last month impounded the Iranian flag Pegas, with 19 Russian crew members on board, due to European Union sanctions. The United States later confiscated the Iranian oil cargo held on board and plans to send it to the United States on another vessel. The Pegasus was later released, but the seizure inflamed tensions at a delicate time, with Iran and world powers seeking to revive a nuclear deal that former US President Donald Trump abandoned, reimposing sanctions on Tehran. Meanwhile, Brigadier General Hamid Vahidi made the remarks while briefing leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Said Ali Khomeini on Wednesday in Tehran during a meeting of a group of Iranian Air Force commanders and personnel with the leader. Referring to the achievements of the Air Force during last year, Vahidi said that the drone power has increased by 33%. Elsewhere in his remarks, the commander pointed to a host of other achievements, including designing and manufacturing piston and turbine engines, producing F-14 fighter jet simulators, overhauling 29 fighter jets, and aerial refueling in the Persian Gulf region to counter threats. The leader also addressed officers in the meeting which is held annually on February 8 to mark the day when Iranian Air Force commanders and personnel made a historic declaration of allegiance to the late founder of the Islamic Republic Imam Khomeini in 1979. Iranian experts have made giant strides in boosting defense power by producing various equipment, including different types of drones. Ninety countries seek to buy Iran-made drones, and Westerners and the arrogant countries cannot tolerate this, an advisor to Iran's intelligence minister said on Wednesday while addressing a local ceremony in Kashvin. Today, Western states, the US, and the Israeli regime cannot stand Iran's defense might in the region, he added. The remarks come as a recently published article in the American National Interest magazine acknowledged that decades-long U.S. sanctions against Iran have failed to disrupt its drone program.
For years, the United States has imposed sanctions against Iran's military complex and manufacturing base, including entities like IAIO Quds Aviation and Aerospace Industries Organization, HESA Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industries Corporation. Nevertheless, Iran's aerospace sector and drone industry have continued to expand and thrive, Eric Lobb and Edward Rila wrote. Iran has manufactured and operated military drones since the Iran-Iraq war in the mid-1980s. With over 33 models, Iran's highly developed, sophisticated military drone complex comprises one of the four pillars of its security strategy and force structure, they added. Drones have increasingly offered an asymmetric advantage to Iran, they pointed out, adding, Drones have also enabled Iran to project power and earn profits, showcase technology and enhance prestige, strengthen alliances in the Middle East and beyond. Back on December 25, 2022, Chairman of the Chiefs of Staff of the Iranian Armed Forces Major General Mohammad Bakari said that Iran will proceed with its plans to promote its drone capabilities and will cooperate with other countries in the drone industry to meet the country's needs. Stressing that Iran is among the world's top five powers in the unmanned aerial vehicles industry, he hailed the joint efforts made by the armed forces, universities, and knowledge-based companies to improve the country's drone power. Iran-made drones can carry out various missions with great accuracy and flight endurance, he said. <laughs>